الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد from the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is that we are kind we have rift and lean so that means we're gentle with one another and we try to set an example by uh, doing those things which will encourage kindness so that even when we are uh, admonishing or we're, we're correcting somebody, if someone makes a mistake, we should try to be nice and kind about it. And that's from the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, is that we're kind in everything. And that kindness, whenever you're kind with someone, when you're correcting them, then that will stay in their heart more. You know, because then that gentleness with them, they will listen more. But if you are always harsh with them, then they will maybe run away from advice, especially when giving people advice. Especially when giving people advice. And this is the case also when people are calling to Allah, when people are doing da'wah, and between uh, the brothers and sisters of Ahl Sunnah, that they should be kind with one another. And the scholars have written and, and spoken a lot about that, and that this is from the Sunnah of the Prophet That doesn't mean always that you should be always light and, and, and gentle. No, there are times to be stern. Sometimes you have to warn someone stern with sternness in order to get them to do the right thing. So sometimes there's a time to be strong and then there's a time to be soft and gentle. And mostly gentleness and softness the people respect and uh, will respond better with. So if you're kind with someone, for example, your friend is doing something bad or something and you try to tell them with gentleness. You say, hey, don't play in the masjid. Don't put your bring your ball in the masjid. Don't do this, don't this. You tell your friend like this, they will listen with niceness. You do it with niceness and kindness. But if you go to them and you're mean, hey, you do that, I'm going to hit you. If you do that, I'm going to smack you in the head. Then they're not going to listen to you probably. They're going to have something in their heart. So this is why it's from the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam to be gentle, to have rifq and lean. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Qala subhana, idhaba ila fir'awna innuhu tagha fuqula lahu qawlin layyina la'allahu yattadhakuru o yakhsha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Musa alayhi salatu wa salam to go to the fir'awn. Go to the fir'awn, to the pharaoh, and verily he is a wicked oppressor. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Musa alayhi salatu wasalam to Fir'aun to give him da'wah. Even though uh, Fir'aun was a disbeliever, he disbelieved in Allah. And he disbelieved in the messengership of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. And he was a tyrant, he oppressed the people, he killed the people, he tortured the people, he was very evil, very wicked oppressor. This is Fir'aun. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and say to him a gentle statement. Speak to him with kindness in order that perhaps, maybe, he will re be reminded or he will fear, meaning he will fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that shows us that even to fit our own, that the Prophet Musa والسلام, was ordered to be nice with in order that what? What was the, the purpose, Rashad? The purpose was that maybe Fir'aun would listen. Maybe he would stop being evil and stop torturing the people and stop killing the people. So this shows us that kindness. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Musa والسلام, to Fir'aun to be nice, then what about us? That's Fir'aun. He was the biggest kafir, the wickedest shaitan that was living. And Allah told Musa to be kind with him and, and speak to him with gentle words. 
and, and, and call him to a law, call him, give him dawah. So that shows us, what about us? When we see mistakes between us, or we see mistakes between our brothers and sisters in Ahl Sunnah, should we be mean and stern and say they're an innovator and say they're this and say they're this? Or should we speak to them kindness, give them some advice? As the Prophet Sallallahu said, Ad-Din al -Siha. He said, the religion is sincere advice. So that way you should advise people. When you see them doing something wrong, try to tell them with niceness. Don't always be harsh with them. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, in the hadith of Aisha ta radiyallahu ta'ala anha zawja nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa qal inna rifqa la yukuna fi shayin illa zanahu wa la yunzi'u min shayin illa shanahu in this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which is uh, collected in Muslim Sahih Muslim Aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha the wife of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the Prophet وسلم, said that verily rifq, rifq means what again? What am I talking about? Mean? Being mean? What does it mean? Good. So rifq means being gentle or kind. So the Prophet وسلم, said verily kindness isn't uh, in regards to uh, any affair except that it perfects it, or that it makes it complete. And it does not, it is not in any affair, except that it removes something, except that it is something which is imperfect. Which means that when you are kind, that kindness or rifq, that when you uh, do it in some affair, for example, you are kind with uh, speaking to your sister about something. You say, Sina, I want you to go wash the dishes. Please. You say this with niceness. Then because you do that, that will make your the 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 affair perfect. Meaning that it will it will make it more complete. It will be the best way to do it. It's the most complete way to do it. And the best way to do it is with kindness. Sina, please, can you go wash the dishes for me? Because I'm tired. Okay? With niceness. And then the opposite, as the Prophet وسلم, said, that if you, uh, the opposite of that is it doesn't remove something except that it is uh, incomplete. Meaning that if someone uh, has done something very harshly and you are gentle with them, it will remove that imperfection. The imperfection is that they did something harsh and that it was a big problem, it caused a big problem. But if you go to them with kindness, and try to remove that 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 harshness, then it will perf it will make things better. It will make the affair better. Let's think of an uh, an example. For example, if you have a situation where you make a mistake with somebody, and you were very mean to them, so now there's a problem between you and them. You were very mean to them, very harsh. You said something very mean, and now you guys are angry at each other. But then one of you comes back and says, I'm sorry, forgive me, I was wrong, like this, with gentleness and kindness. Then this will help remove the mashakum, remove the problem. Why? Because you were nice. And you were kind in removing something that was a problem and that was based on harshness. This is what the Prophet ﷺ was telling us so that lets us know that rift and lean is from the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ and the sunnah of the NBA, in fact. Because Musa ﷺ was ordered to go to Fir'aun, the biggest tyrant, the biggest shaitan, and bespeak kind words to him in order that he would be reminded of good, in order that he would fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in order that he would become Muslim and leave off the evil that he was doing. And in another hadith, on Jarir, uh, رضي الله تعالى عنه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من يحرم رفقة يحرم الخير uh, and this was uh, narrated in Muslim as well in this hadith of uh, Jarir رضي الله تعالى عنه may Allah be pleased with Jarir and all the Sahaba رضي الله تعالى عنه مجبعين that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said 
that whoever is prohibited from being kind, then they are prohibited from khair. They're prohibited from good. So the person who is not gentle, the person who is not nice, the person who is not kind, will be prohibited from goodness. They won't gain the goodness. So again, that shows us, that's the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam to be kind, to be nice, to be gentle. Let me ask you, if I say to you, uh, go clean your room right now, or I'm going to hit you, how will you feel? Will you feel happy? Or, huh? You'll feel sad. You'll feel sad. So then there'll be mashaka. There'll be problem. But if I say, please, can you go you know, clean your room? It's messy and this and this and this and this. How will you feel? Huh? You'll feel happy. You'll feel happy to do it. You'll go clean the room without problems. So this is the, the affair of rift. Being rift with one another. And rift between... Ahlul Sunnah and rift with the Muslims and rift with the non-Muslims even. Being gentle and kindness in your speech. Maybe they will listen. Maybe they will listen to your da'wah. Maybe they will become Muslim. Maybe they will at least respect you as a Muslim. But if you're mean and harsh with them, they won't respect you and they won't respect Islam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.